Hey everyone, welcome back to Legend of Mushrooms with Genghis. Wanted to go over the warrior build. I did all the builds early on, a couple weeks ago. Game has changed a lot. A lot more has been released. And certain skills are nerfing other skills. So they're not really uh, what you should be focusing on. And I didn't do, I didn't go in depth on which skills and pets you should use. So I'm going to do warrior build today. And this is good for both uh, Warrior and Berserker. Ber Berserker is basically the exact same, just a little quicker, a little less on the HP and defense. But uh, for the most part, this is going to work for both. So I'm going to go over to my set three here. And I am saving some uh, gears for Warrior. I don't have full sets of anything for Oris yet, so I'm kind of building it up. But you basically want Counter-Strike as your number one. Every piece of gear needs to have Counter-Strike. If it doesn't have Counter-Strike, it's basically going to be useless for you. So first off, let's do souls. So there's basically two souls. Like, I don't have to tell you which souls to get. You understand, get red. You're going to get red souls. But there's two souls when you're going to be fusing. And not all of us are going to spend that much money, right? So if you're going to fuse and you get that red soul number two you need to decide which one to go after. And there's two that are really, really good. This is probably the best one that you're gonna go after. Global HP and HP, HP regeneration bonus. That one, or is it this one? Counter damage and pal damage. So the global HP one, the thing is it's a lot lower. It's 20%, but it's 20% on top of all your HP. So that is big and regeneration. But the thing is, counter 337% at level one, like that is huge, right? That is something that you would absolutely want. Pal damage, not so important. Pals are more about the intangible skills they're going to add to you. We'll get into that. But I would basically be looking at those two, whichever ones you want. Now, if you're the Berserker, for sure, it's a no doubt you're going to go with Counter because Berserkers have lower HP, so you don't really focus on stuff you're lower than. But if you're Warrior, uh, I could see why it would be a toss-up. Personally, I would probably favor this Counter Damage one. I just, because uh, when you face a really good Warrior, I'm an Archer, almost always. I've been Warrior a little bit. When you face a really good warrior you're it's like you're just facing a mirror it just all your attacks just hit you and the more counter that you have on there and the more counter damage that is really really going to sting now let's look at relics right beside it so which relics are you going to want to use so you're going to want to go over and find the right here the ironclad mask that does counter 10%. This is a no-brainer. There is absolutely no option here. This is what you're going to want. Now, right here, you would go Thunder Kite. I use this on my Archer as well. There are some other options, but basically, this is the one that I would recommend. Just get some extra damage in because really, most of the other stuff in here, it's all, you know, it's like help your pals. And I just don't really believe the pals. I believe they're pretty weak right now in the game. Now let's go over to this one and you can do uh, snowflake depending which uh, you, you have to use the snow sprite if you want but most of this stuff is all Pels also and this magic box one you're going to be using likely uh, deer so it's going to be something that you could use it'll increase the damage but depending on which pets you have if you don't have all the recommended pets I'm going to use I would recommend using the snow pal just to use this skill but this one's kind of up in the air i would recommend magic box if you do have the pals i'm going to be recommending right here uh to me stellar statue is the best one it will increase the big skill that you get in the cross server arena whichever one you choose here but uh world snare is the one that you should probably be choosing and that's uh, the recommendation here to increase its uh, effectiveness by 50%. And then we go over to right here, the book. There's basically two. One will increase your attack and this one, this is my boss one. So when I go PVP, I have this one on. And I believe this is the best one right here. Stone Writ Tomb. And it basically 
is a resistance, which is a debuff, nerfs your opponents. And when you're a defensive player who counterattacks, that's what you want to be doing. There is an argument to be made. Uh, where's the attack one right here? At the start of the battle, this one. Increased attack so that you don't... Because you, you may not want to nerf what the enemy is attacking you with because you're going to be counter damage, countering it at them, right? But uh, I wouldn't do this one because warriors are generally low in attack. And over here, I would use this one, Storm, and increase the damage of summoned units by 30%. The reason why is because there is a must skill you need to use, and it involves a summoned unit, which is a clone. So you need to increase their effectiveness by 30 percent like why not do that because clones are so op in this game so let's go over to right here on the talent and basically get these feathers up get them up to 40 you want to unlock the next level you want to get them to 41 actually because look at this so my basic attack at 40 is basically 3000 at 41 when you break through into the next tail it jumps to 6,000. So you wanna get all of them up, get them evenly, but obviously HP and defense and HP especially is gonna be very important for um, your warrior build. Now, this is money, money stuff, right? Like these wings, the only one available to my server right now is these wings and each basic attack raises defense by 0.5% and then increases, uh, attack by 10 percent. so whatever one you can get use if you're going to spend money then you're going to get some of this extra stuff but you don't have to but if you're going to spend money to spend money on this game spend responsibly use the aptoid app store get up to 35 percent off on all in-game purchases use the promo code mushroom5 you can see me doing it in the background and if you'd like to do so the information how to do so is in the description to the video save money put more in your pocket now on the talent tree we're going to go over here to fury I would go over and right here, this is the path I would take. Although attack isn't overly important for warriors, you wanna get to that counter. So I would recommend that you go like this as your first three. And I would just do the minimum right here, just get to level 10. So then you could do HP and then counter and max that counter damage out up and then go back and do the HP. And then you can go back over here and fill in the defense and HP and move around. Oh, weapon, what do you wanna use? So I would go with this one. I just firmly believe right here that the Eye of the Raven is for every single character. And the reason is because you can get double clone. So this is so OP in the game. There's nothing else that matches it. Cast an equipped active skill at random every 20 seconds. So that means you have basically a 20% chance to start with double clone. Cast for the first two seconds after battle starts. Cast for the first time, uh, two seconds after. So you got to do that. If you don't have it, these are both really nice. The hammer and the gun, whichever one you have. But if you have this, I just believe... Even, even though it's only a 20% chance to get that clone, you're a warrior who's going to make the battle last longer. You might get more than 20 seconds. Me as an archer, my battles rarely last 20 seconds. I got weak defense and I got really strong attack and I either finish them right away or I don't. But if you're lucky enough to have advanced mounts, this is supposed to be the warrior one, but it kind of sucks. The only like to own it is good because you get the ignore stun. Who cares about the pal attack speed? These, these work even if you don't own it. So there's an argument to be made that this is actually better. Playing this game seriously is either gonna be the lion or uh, this ox, the buffalo blue ox. This is these, both of these are very good for warrior, but this one being way better. And anyways, let's get into the skills. Let's actually, let's go to statues first. Let's stay on the free path and stuff that you can do. So oh, we got uh, something there to harvest. So statue, this is my archer statue. 
and got my OCD. I, I can't possibly leave that there. So this is my archer statue and I've got three global combo, two global attack. You should basically be doing something the exact same for warriors. So this is my warrior build. I have four global counter. It may be one too many. Uh, I'm using it whenever I do warrior, I like it. I, my global defense, that's not ideal. I should have global HP there. I have global defense just because it rolled. And before I change it to HP, I need more flowers. Look at my final HP. And this is as an archer. I got almost 2 million, right? Or 2 billion, whatever that is, 2,000 million. And my defense is only in the Ks, right? 113,795,000 K. That is way bigger for the HP. So you might as well amplify the things that you're good at. Down, I'm just gonna assume that people are shooting for a final path here and what they want to be using. And we are going to look at number one. This right here, clone, this is non-negotiable. You have to get this. This is important for any skill class and you need it, okay? If you're archer, warrior, or mage, you need this. There is no if ands about it because if you play someone who has this and you don't have it, you're done. They're going to destroy you. I was running into that problem forever and I was saving my skills for uh, skill day and you can look. My skills are now at 1691. They were at like 10,000. Same with my pals. I just had to use them because I was like, what do I play this game for? I'm going to wait 30 days to have fun just for an event. And the event doesn't even pay off that well. So I just used all my skills and I finally got clone. And my battles are so much better now. So it is an absolute must. You absolutely have to be using clone. Now, uh, using clone in the relic, we put one on that would help summon units, right? And this is what clone would do. So it would make it 30% stronger. Now, another one that you wanna use, you want to use, this is the only low level one and it's mushroom, the shroom shield. You want a shield equal to 20% of your max HP lasting for 10 seconds. And warriors have a lot of HP. So this is really, really good for warriors. It sucks that there really isn't an upgradable one at the higher levels yet. I'm sure it's coming, but maybe it's too OP and they haven't put it in the game yet till they figure out how to sort of match it. Now, another one you really want to look at is Blizzard, uh, Blitz Assault. So you really want this one. And the reason why you want it is because you will be providing 3% of damage immunity at the start. So that's the most important thing on this. The attack is amazing, 6,000%. It is awesome. But the real key to this is the three second immunity. So that basically negates opening skills on you. They're just gonna hit your pal, they're not gonna hit you at all, and you're gonna be safe for three seconds. Now, another one that you're gonna want is you're gonna want Smoke Bomb. Uh, smoke Bomb because it increases the damage received by targets within the range by 30 percent for five seconds. Why is that important for you? Well, you're going to be countering. So everything you counter is going to be 30% stronger. And warriors have a real, real high rate of counter. Almost everything gets flung back. Now, this is where it gets tricky. Your warriors are supposed to use this, Dragonic Resonance. So it does, you know, initial damage, then it's followed by a half a second delay, then 2% of the target's max HP, and then additionally deal 1% damage of the target's max HP for every 10 seconds. Now, um, is this good? It's good if you're facing a warrior because they have high HP, but warriors generally aren't going to be facing many warriors. So... Some people say like, oh yeah, you should change stuff based on you know, who you're facing, but only in the arena. Might as well just go with the skill that works better. And that is this one here, Worldly Snare. So it's very OP right now. Increase crit rate by 10%. For every 1% crit rate, gain an additional 3% 
this effect lasts for five seconds. So it just makes you so strong for those few seconds, all your attacks. And they will help with your counter as well because your crit's going to be on. Now, uh, if you don't have this, one that you should look at is Heroic Descent. And it has a 10 second uh, rem untargetable by enemies. And it is, it summons a hero. So again, it summons a unit and you already have that relic on and it lasts for 10 seconds. So that 10 seconds is better than right here, the three seconds immunity that's gonna go against you. And this one's good too, Blade Pierce, if you can get it, throw sharp blades and causes the target to lose 1.5% of their max HP for 5 seconds. Again, another thing to use against warriors, basically. But I wouldn't run it all the time, and I wouldn't run it even like in your main build. I would stick with what I did recommend here. So I'll take a picture. Actually, wait, i got to move up a little bit and get them all in there. So let's, uh, can we get uh, the mushroom in there? can't quite get it so just remember that we got this mushroom in here and then right here i will put a mark on all of the skills that i do recommend just so that you do see them so we're going to go with obviously clone where is it right here this is the most important one worldly snare but dragon right there is the skill you're supposed to go with I do think that Legend of Mushrooms, I do think that the developers are going to change that and make it more effective because it just doesn't make sense that everyone in the uh, in the cross-server arena shop or the family brawl shop is like not buying the skill that's set for warriors. So I think that they will. Smoke Bomb is good. This one, Heroic, uh, Heroic uh, Descent, is good if you don't have World Snare. And then, of course, you want Blizzard right there for that immunity. So those are the skills that you're going to be wanting. So those I would pick from those seven skills. And now let's get into the pets that you're going to want. So there's some that are basically non-negotiable. And number one right here is the Rainbow Guardian. He has counter and counter damage. So you're absolutely going to want him on. This is not negotiable at all. And then there is this one, the electric pup. If you have it, use it. It's a very difficult one to get. Increase counter, right? And restores 1% of lost HP on counters. So every time you counter, you bring back 1% of life. You got to love those double ones. So that is, those are absolutely great. This one here. When HP is below 50%, gain a shield equal to 30% of your HP. That is a must for warriors as well. Basically, if you're catching on to a theme here, everything here that has HP is something that you would do. Now, this one is the only one I probably wouldn't recommend, the Kung Fu Master. HP regen 40%. Although you do care about your HP, um, this is really just regenerating 40% faster than your healing rate that you already have. And you're going to have so many other things on that are healing, such as the uh, right here, the one that we just did, the electric pop, that's going to give you 1% on every counter. I just think that you can do better without that one. This is something that I recommend on everybody, and it's increased uh, basic attack crit damage by 50 and skill crit by 20. Although that's not something that is the prime skill for a warrior, I think that this is just such a strong pal that every, every class should be using it. That's 70% of really, really important stuff. And then there's two more that we can look at here, and they're kind of optional. One of them is the Hydro sp uh, Sprite and Active Skill Regen 25%. So the thing I really like about that, that means that all your active skills down here, they're going to come back 25% faster. That is very, very important. Um, and then if you do have that on, remember to go in here and... And then the final one that I would recommend is the... Where are you right here? The deer. So damage resistance, 15%. It's going to 
negate the crit, crit that people are going to put on you, re negate their basic attack that they're going to put on you. Everything that hits you is going to be 15% uh, debuffed. And it's worth it. It will help, especially when warriors are engaged in very, very long battles. Comes to awakening, you basically just awaken them all and they pop up at random which ones you would want to, uh, which ones you get. You don't get to choose, but... When you do get them, you could choose which ones you want to uh, level up. And if you are a warrior, I would be going with HP, defense, and then uh, crit resistance as well. So that's it. Let me know what you guys think. Do you disagree with anything? Do you have any similar thoughts? And like, subscribe, leave a comment.